If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter, but regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome, welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing on the Road to 56 mod as Australia Hungry. Yes, we're playing on the brand new mod on the Workshop, which combines, well, rather swaps Austria and uh, Australia. So we're going to be playing as Australian hungry <laughs> so guys i want to make a deal with you if this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours i will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly if not you just have to wait a little bit longer for that next upload so it's the first of january 1939 the australians have made a decision with the austrians to be like you know what the austrians like you know what let's fuck off to our island you can have austria australia and we're like fucking bloody oath we want to be in europe Pretty much, and, and uh, Hungary had something to do with it. But regardless, Australia, Hungary have combined, and uh, let's get stuck into this series. So at the moment, you can currently see we've got Austria. For some reason, we have Czechoslovakia, naughty. I think that's a little bit overpowered, and we've got a huge chunk down here in Yugoslavia. We really should only have Austria and Hungary. But regardless, let's have a quick sneak peek down in Australia. What is now Austria? Hungry. <laughs> now, this is uh, an interesting campaign because it's quite, it's quite interesting to me because, funnily enough, I am Australian, of course, but my grandfather was also born in Austria, so I am quite, list quite literally an Austrian Australian, <laughs> which is funny. Both my uh, parents are born in Australia, both my grandparents, all the way back to like Scottish, English, and Irish. But uh, my closest sort of European ancestor was my grandfather, who was born in Austria, then uh, moved out to Australia, met my grandmother, and the rest is history. I've mentioned it before, but um, yeah, I might as well just mention it again. Like, he was telling me stories about how, like, because where he lived in Austria, the Soviets <laughs> took over his farm, where they lived, they have like a windmill and stuff, and uh, he always used to say the Soviet, the Russian guy, was always quite nice to him and his family, which was, was quite weird, but... Uh, Regardless, let's get stuck into the campaign. So, we want to go straight into industrial for production and concern. Uh, no, let's quickly switch over to engineering. But how are you guys all doing? It is summer in Australia. It is fucking 30 degrees at the moment. It's fucking piping hot. And if I start losing breath, it's not because I'm just exhausted. It's because of the fucking heat. It's just knackering me. Well, I am exhausted, but... Anyway, let's get stuck into who have we got here. Les Moore's head. He doesn't sound awfully Australian, but uh, we're going to have to promote him up. Uh, where is he? Let's promote him. He will lose a skill, but that is fine. So, let me know in the comments, guys, where you would like me to expand. Let's get right up on the German border, because that's probably our best bet. Okay, let's go through and put some civilian factories where we can, because we want a couple of them. And then we want to switch over to military at some point, so that'll do. And then pretty much the rest just pump into military. Yeah, so I think it's a little bit overpowered that we've got, well, we've got more than Austria and um, Hungary. But I love this flock, this uh, mock-up sort of flag. There's a subreddit on Reddit called Vexology, Vexology, I think. Go check it out, guys. It's where basically these guys combined uh, flags and just like, um, just like what-ifs of flags and combine them and stuff. It's quite cool. Okay, so we're currently sitting on 98% fascism. I think we're going to keep that. Let me know in the comments, should I join the Axis? Should I stay? Should I make my own faction? Okay, at the moment, we currently are sitting on 5 oil, 120, 115 aluminium, 0 rubber, tungsten, we've only got 1. How much do we... Tr Whoa, we're exporting a lot of that. Okay, we need to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Production-wise, we have 24 military factories and one naval dockyard. So let's quickly chuck in some towered artillery. And let's get some great war tanks. We've got enough military factories to get a decent air force, which would really be a good idea. And then let's switch to a convoy and then go submarines because we don't actually have that many. To be fair, we probably could upgrade our naval capacity down here. Okay, so let's put... Four into infantry equipment. One. Let's just try and go three here. Let's try and sort of space it out as best we can, and then chuck all the first, uh, all the rest into infantry arms. Right. Let's have a look at the Australian-Hungarian tree. 
Now, by the look of this, I think I just want to continue with fascism, get those really good ideology boosts. And we've got no divisions in eight, in uh, training. So what we want to do is we want to try and get them in our Viet in our capital and our capital Canberra. I mean Vienna. <laughs> okay, so let's get five of those guys in. Whoa, we've got like no manpower. So let's drop that down to three. We don't want any of them. Um, what should I? Infantry division. I'm trying to think what I should rename them. Let me know in the comments some suggestions for that. Logistics-wise, we're quite in the negative. But yeah, Austria does seem to have some units here. Yugoslavia is actually pulling back to their territory. We've even taken like some of Romania's territory as well, which... I don't know. Or maybe this is sort of replicating what the Austro-Hungarian Empire was um, at some point. Okay, guys, I think it's time for some early expansion. 22nd of February, 1936. For some reason, we've got like 40 divisions, which is quite insane. So this is some of the Alpine divisions here, and then we've got our sort of default guys. I think we should hit Romania as quickly as possible. Try and hit as many of these neutral factions in the Balkans to try and take as many on the air. I guess this is what, like, the Austro-Hungarian Empire was at its might at some point. We have to go... Oh, that'd be cool, going down and get rid of the pesky Ottoman Empire. Of course. Okay, so I think we should try and hit Romania as quickly as possible. I haven't had a quick look at my Air Force, so how are we sort of looking? Okay, so it's quite sort of light. To be fair, we could chuck them in if we sort of want to. And then allow reinforcements to just sort of eventually get there. So let's pop them here, right? And I'm just going to switch the capacity over to 1,000. So we can get these guys to sort of pump it and actively fighting over war zones. Okay, cool. So let's put everything on them, and let's grab you and chuck you over Romania. Okay, we're going to justify war now. We're going to be using the instant war goal, war goal mod as, as always, just to speed things up. I'll put in the description below all the mods I'm running for this campaign. But really, you need to take note of is just the Road to 56 mod. I want to hit them and hit them hard. We want to be aggressive. Yep. So let's push over the border here. It's going to be a lot easier going through the mountain pass uh, instead of going through the river here. The Danube, which is always a bit of a pain. Okay, remilitarization of the Rhineland. Whoa, why are we getting pushed back so much by the Romanians? I know it's going to be a hard fight, but we should be able to do it still. If we can take Bucharest. Why are we not favoured to win? How are some divisions not in position? It was ready when I declared war. Okay, you guys here need to be cutting them off here. Right. Go around. Why did that flip-flop so much? Okay, so we've cut them off here. Now, swing them around here. And you go to this port as well, my friend. Ah, oh, you go there. Come on. Kill them. We've got them on the ropes here. If we can make a dent there, we've got them, I reckon. We're about to surround and kill five of the... Yep, we've got the divisions there. How far are we away from Bucharest? Okay, let's have a quick look at the results. So we've got the Austro-Hungarian... Australian... I'm going to keep on doing that. Australian-Hungarian War. It's quite even at the moment. Spanish Civil War, and then we've still got that Ethiopian War. We've got a decent amount of political power now. I'm going to switch over to extensive conscription. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do that. That gives us a population of 2.4. We're already fascist, so we can really just go to town on these minor countries as quickly as possible. Okay, we've got another spare research slot. Let's slot. Let's continue to go down to uh, research improvements. Right, we're about to surround and kill three here. Man, that was a tough one. We really nearly didn't have it. I know we're probably negative in our infantry. Yeah, that's what it is. We're not... We haven't got... Yeah. The uh, the rifle's really necessary. But if we can take Romania quickly, we might be able to sort of pull through. Air superiority-wise, we don't have it, which is unfortunate. We probably should just like sort of hold up a bit and put a lot more into making these rifles. So pull back from tanks and artillery and try and pump as much in, into actually making these rifles as possible. I thought because we had 40 divisions, we probably could take Romania a lot quicker. 
But um, we are making a progression. Slowly but surely, we will be victorious. I need to choose another national focus. Let's continue down the path of Chaos Tree to hit that fascism boost. And we've got another decent slot here. We probably want to switch over to War Economy once we can. But we need the World Tension higher. Um, and we want to go with Closed Economy as well. We can't really flick over. We could probably go with Partial Mobilization. Because we've got the political power. That'll help us quite a bit. Okay, we're one tile away from Bucharest. And it looks like the eastern flank here is capitulating. Oh, here we go. Anti-Comintern pack. Germany proposes that we sign um, an anti-Comintern pack. So we get... Uh, okay, so it sort of... It sort of depends where we want to align ourselves. We the thing is right. We're using a faction manager, so we could we could we could chummy up with Hitler and then betray him in the end. Um, but sending these forty divisions could barely take Romania. I don't think we're anywhere near actually betraying Hitler. Like we could quite possibly just like push up through there, but I think we're better off getting uh, on side. So we could refuse to get a bad penalty with Germany, or we could join and get a bad penalty with the Soviets, which we're also bordering with. I'm going to join the anti turn pack because I probably want to try and chummy up with Hitler and then betray him and backstab him once we're in a superior position than him. At the moment, we're not, even once we take these smaller Balkan countries. Okay, how's this war going against the Romanians? 86k lost, 127. So, we've lost a decent amount. But once we take the oil from the Romanians, that's going to give us a huge advantage over most of the European countries. Right, where are we sort of looking here? We've just got more political power. We'll just sort of leave it at that. 26th of August, 1939. And the Australians are charging through the Romanian streets in Bucharest nearly. We're taking a lot of towns in the north, and we're about to surround and kill them here. I want to take Bucharest. We'll call it Bandura, or Budrum, or something. <laughs> right, let's push through there. Ace pilot. Oh, we are getting an air force now. We currently have over 80 airplanes in our operation. Pushing down here on the left. The Aussies and the Hungarians are doing well. So there are two separate factions now. We have the Australian-Hungarian Empire, which is what we are. And then we've got the, down in Australia, the Austrian and Hungarian Empire. Bucharest is about to fall. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cool. That's it. She's all over Red Rover. They have capitulated. Let's take Romania now. We've seized 5,000 equipment and we've, uh, we've extended our borders all the way here to... Is this the Black Sea? I can't remember what the fuck it's called. Anyway, let's relocate now. Prepare and, and get ready to hit probably the Yugoslavians are uh, the next on uh, my list. Okay. To be fair... We might be better off hitting Bulgaria. No. Ugh. The thing is, we might be better off hitting Bulgaria before they join the Axis. And it looks like... It looks like Yugoslavia are quite militarized. Even with that disadvantage of pushing over the river here. I still think we probably could do it because the AI has a tendency to join the Axis. Okay, we're going to need a fleet. So, let's have a fleet rally up somewhere probably in the med is probably our best bet so quickly go back to the deployment we probably want you to be zara yeah let's uh, have my navy be in zara okay let's move my air force now as well no they can quite comfortably um operate over the eastern balkans and they have been doing for some time in that romanian fight okay so it looks like bulgaria is a hell of a lot sort of weaker which is good uh, maybe we should upgrade some of our support and equipment there. So we just need to get these research slots. We only have four, which is going to be a bit of a pain. Okay, so how are we sort of looking here? Still preparing. I'll come back once that preparing is done, because it does take a while, doesn't it? Rightio then, guys. It's time to hit Bulgaria now to expand our control in the Balkans. Let's declare war upon them. Charge against Sofia and uh, ravage her, I guess. Okay, so we want to try and go with closed economy eventually. And we want to go... Oh, we can go with war economy. So let's flip that over now, shall we? 
I haven't got any divisions in basic training simply because we haven't got the reinforcement rate in our logistics. Like, if you have a look here, guys, we're still like 12k rifles down, 400, so it's going to be a little bit hairy when we hit Sophia. I guess you could take something from that. That was quite funny. Anyway, Germany wants to send me two divisions. Oh, so they don't want to ally with the Bulgarians. Huzzah! We've taken Bulgaria. Boom. And now we have a better sort of position to take Yugoslavia. Greece could be potentially on our next list. But we'll swing around here. But let me know in the comments, guys. Should I create my own faction? Should I side with Hitler? Just let me know. Nothing is set in stone, of course. All right, we'll swing you here and then, yeah, get, get you to operate here. Okay, what have we sort of got here? Insufficient resources, no divisions in basic training. That's fine. Let's continue down with the militarization sort of nap. Oh, did I go down the right one there? Oh! Um, yeah, that, that's a good one there. I don't want sort of diplomatic sort of stuff. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. That's a tough one into Yugoslavia. I'll come back once the divisions have properly prepared. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to hit, the, hit Yugoslavia now. I like to edit these Hearts of Iron 4 videos as much as possible because there's no point of just like sitting here me rambling while I'm waiting for these divisions to repair. And it just, it's just a little bit time consuming, especially with like the war deck stuff as well. I just want to sort of speed things up, because, you know, at this stage, I've played so many Hearts of Iron campaigns. Like, it's just time-wasting more than anything, not even a challenge in regards to time-waiting and, and stuff. So, oh, looks like Italy wants to help out. Uh, I thought Yugoslavia would have held up a hell of a lot better than that, but it looks like... Oh, Soviet withdrawal. There was also a Chilean war off-camera. Oh! Look, the Italians of here. Ah, Benevento, Montevacciano. See? <laughs> ah, bon appetito, motherfuckers. We might even hit ooh, Albania. Maybe not because I feel like I feel like there could be a war deck here for them. Oh, Greece is very tempting. Very, very tempting. Maybe we should do it. Yeah, let's prepare to hit Greece. Okay, so the Australians have valiantly reclaimed the northern part of the Balkans, smashing Romania and Bulgaria, Yugoslavia. And if we can hit the Greekers, we will have a very, very strong empire in the heart of Europe. Oh, wow. 8th of May, 1937, the Hindenburg incident. Disaster was narrowly averted today. Oh, we got some alternative history going on. When a diesel fuel leak was discovered on the German passenger airship, it came into dock in the United States. Oh, a close call. Huh. It's also, it's also time to fix up my trade deficit that we're going on. Like, as you can see here, we've got decent oil, aluminium, even with trade, but rubber, we're suffering, and, and same with our steel. So let's try and find someone who is probably going to be fascist who will send us rubber. So we've got the Dutch East Indies. They might get taken. French Commune. What? Oh, no. <gasps> the French turned communism. Turned into... Oh, those cummy bastards. Right, so we've got the Chilean Civil War and the Spanish. Can we actually help out in that? Yes. I can send divisions. Um, shit, Franco might actually need some help. I only can send two. I might need to look at that in a minute, because we can't... Well, I want Spain for myself, maybe. <laughs> Who cares? I want to focus on conquering and expanding myself. The fucking Spaniards can fuck off, really. Um, right, where is... Maybe Brazil. That could be a good idea. Japan. They can't really give me that much rubber. It's really the Dutch that have the majority. So let's try and get six factories there. We'll try and get as much as we can from the Brazilians and the Japanese. Oh, Siam's probably a, be a better bet. 
Now, steel-wise, we do actually produce 70 steel, but we're actually trading a hell of a lot of it. I forgot to actually, when we're at war with the Yugoslavians, to go... Yugoslavians, to actually switch over to closed economy. You have to be at war to switch, so... We still need steel, and it's probably not a bad idea getting some from the Germans. Just to keep us afloat. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot better. Logistics-wise, we're down to 1.4k now. 500. We're pumping out a lot of rifles. Okay. Research slot-wise, we've gone through most of the ele electronic engineering before we get time penalties now. It's probably not a bad idea going here. But then we need to slowly but surely move through the... Um, the land doctrines and upgrading the rifles and stuff but as long as we sort of get that first sort of initial boost with the engineering industrial we can do we can really go down these sort of military focused research slots radio guys welcome back it's the 19th of july 1937 now unfortunately i don't know if you guys have been noticing we get a lot of bloody phone calls in this episode so i had to answer one then the last two were not really um, important, but it might sometimes, I don't know yet, I haven't got into the editing process, it might have put a little bit of static in the mic. So, we were going to declare war upon Greece, but unfortunately both, I want to attack Greece and Turkey, not just yet, because they have a tendency to either bring in the UK or France, which is what we don't want. I'm just going to go around and have a look at the factions we border, and then I'll go with the plan that I have. We're more than likely going to be joining the Axis and attacking Denmark. So, we don't really want to go with the Soviets just yet. I think Poland is a little bit too crazy. Switzerland as well has a tendency to join the... What are they at now? Oh, okay, they're not aligned. But they have a tendency to join the, um, the UK to support them. That's the thing. So you can declare war on these countries, but what's going to happen if you do it too much is that the UK, like, protects them and sort of, yeah, protects them, and then you're at war with the UK, which is what we don't want. We want Germany to be ripe and ready in 1939 or 1940 when we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to declare war upon Denmark now because, as you can see here, there's, but, like, there's... The factions I bought, I can't really hit. We can't hit Turkey or Greece. We can't hit Albania, the Soviets. Poland would be a mess, Switzerland. But what we could do is join the Axis. This gives us a chance to go through Amsterdam, Belgium. And once we take out Denmark, it opens up the heart of Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway, and Finland. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to declare war upon Denmark. Okay. Cool. And they haven't been justified. Perfect. Let's declare war upon now against Denmark. Excellent. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the Axis. And now straight up, as you can see, Germany wants to send volunteers. And they're more than likely going to want to join the war. So let's call in the Nazis now. And let's swing around our men to the Danish border. We're going to be able to take Denmark. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. German Reich. Italy joins the Axis. Oh, wow. We are steamrolling the Danes here. I'm probably going to pop at them. It's probably not a bad idea. But now that we've taken... What's this? Kattegat? <laughs> Up in Norway, the Baltic Sea. We should... Oh, God, they're holding out here. Come on. We need to take Copenhagen. Yep, there we go. So... We've got an option to do here. We can either take it for myself or we can puppet the small Scandinavian country. I think I'm going to puppet it. I don't usually like to do it, but especially in that Dutch campaign, if you haven't even seen it, my God, if you haven't gone to see the Dutch Empire campaign, highly recommend you do. We had a awesome time of it. So we're going to puppet Denmark now, and they are going to join me. So Denmark is now puppeted. And um, what's their flag and stuff? Oh, yes! The Danish Imperium. Hell, hell victory! <laughs> so they are now fascist under the command of... Fritz Clausen. Hello, Fritz Clausen. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to move my guys to the border of Sverdan, and then we'll push up on there. Oh, I've forgotten again to switch over to um, closed economy. Oh, buggy -er. Okay, let's quickly go through my logistics here. So research-wise, we're doing all right. Trade, oh, even with those imports, man, we're still minus a lot of steel. I think I'm going to declare war upon Sweden now. I just need to remember to change my, um, 
uh, trade so I can close off the economy. We're building new military factories as well. Production wise, we're actually quite good. We actually can get some infantry now. I'll quickly have a yeah, I have a look at my logistics. So we've got 10,000 rifles, we're still low on support equipment. Okay, so we can we can chuck at least three in here. We'll have them operating, and then we'll get some tanks and stuff eventually. Right, okay, so let's declare war upon Sverden then, and I'll drop it down to low, because what I can try and do is just sort of wait until it says declare war, then quickly pause it, because it, you can sometimes beat the AI to support it. Oh, there we go. So let's just go in. Yep, no potential enemies. Let's go on Sweden. Okay, so let's push over here. We want to try and... We want to try and push over as quickly as possible. Right, they're being called in now. So we want to try and get Malmo as quickly as possible. Yep, good. It's just a little bit glitchy there in Denmark. It always is for some reason. So let's push all the way up to the top to Uppsala. And let's just go ham. 40 divisions have crossed over the Danish Channel. And Sweden will be joining the Axis. Joining the Australian-Hungarian Empire. Bizarre. We're going to continue down the fascist ideology to get those recruitment boosts. And I think in the same boat... Whoa! What is the Red Army doing there? And the French? Ah, oh, Comrade Stalin back at it again. <laughs> and the French Commune as well. Why is... Sweden's not going to join... No. Sweden's not going to join the common turn. 40 divisions Australia hungry as. And, and we're doing quite well. Anschlutz of Austria. Okay. Well, that's awkward. Hang on a minute. Ah! Oh, you boogers! So, Adolf Hitler has taken out the Austrians there. Right. I mean Reich. <laughs> anyway, let's continue to finish off Sweden now. Stockholm is on the steps. Yeah, they've got, the they got Soviets trying to hold Stockholm. Been to Stockholm, a lovely, beautiful city. Expensive, but it's worth the visit. Okay, Stockholm has been taken now. I reckon Norway should be next. If we can unite the Scandinavian countries into a fascist banner, we'll be laughing. Okay, and now they're at... They were nearly capitulated. So who's done most of the work here? I've done the entirety of the work. Only 17,000 Australian Hungarians have died. And 57k here. Once we take another city or something, we'll be right. But yeah, but I'm surprised the French came out to help there. It's because we hit them so quickly. Okay, let's continue down the fascist ideology. We're probably going to be able to get a spare research spot. Just push all the way. Yep, we've got them now. So let's puppet. Sweden. Sweden is now my puppet. Oh, we probably should have taken Sweden now to think about it. Because it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to get all that steel. Nevertheless, the Sweden Reich. Sven Olof Lindholm is now our leader in Sweden. And we're going to be able to get those mercs soon. Those free volunteers. We want to try and take Norway as well. Because as, as you can see, we've taken a huge chunk here. Okay, does Denmark have any divisions? I want some Danish forces, only one. Let's request him then. And let's have a look at sort of the divisions for them. So we've only got light artillery, just weapons one, Danish equipment. Compared to like a... A Australian unit, Hungarian, mostly just Austrian rifles. We've also using a bit of Bulgarian equipment there. Okay, okay, that's cool. Oh God, here we go. Poland joins the Allies. That's not good. It's only 1937, and they've joined the Allies. What's triggered that? It's time now to attack Norway, bring the Norwegians under the Axis fold. We've already taken Sweden, we've already taken Denmark. If we can take the entirety of Scandinavia, 
perhaps leaving Finland because they seem to go to war with the Soviets and it's kind of a nice buffer zone here. It would give us a really nice sort of flanking movement and, and give us a lot of territory and just sort of, it really, really helps, like flanking, especially if you want to go to war with the Allies. Like just look at all these naval invasions where we can just launch our naval invasions against the Saxons. <laughs> I mean British. We get the Vikings and the fucking uh, Saxons, British thing going on here. Let's uh, probably invade from the north. The vengeance from the north. All hell, Ragnar Luthbrook. Okay, so let's hit um, Norway now. Now, you guys are going to fucking love this. I think this is hilarious. I've forgotten twice now to change over my Xbox to closed economy. Um, I did it with Denmark and Sweden. So we're going to be doing it now with Norway. Now, uh, definitely Norway joins the Allies quite a bit. Especially if you, if you declare war upon them. So we're just going to have to be really careful here. So I'm going to slowly try and declare war upon them. As soon as that pops up, I'm going to quickly pause. And then we'll hit them, okay? Wait. Yep, there we go. So let's just hit them there. Go, 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 everyone. Everyone get in and just absolutely hammer them home. We've got air, superi air superiority over the top. 380 nearly. And now I'm going to switch over to closed economy. Boom. There we go. That's going to help us so much. That's going to flip and change in a moment. But I've also forgotten to boost ideologies in different countries. So let's go down and try and bring Brazil into fascism. And let's try and bring Mexico into fascism as well. Then we're currently sitting at 50 per day, so we can do one more country. I also completely forgot when I took Denmark, we actually have Greenland and now Iceland as well. Maybe I should... No, I can't. I was going to say, maybe I could release them, but I'm, I'm not going to, of course. Now we can navally invade through Canada if we wanted to, but it's a lot easier doing Mexico or Brazil or, or something. Okay, so we've got one more slot. Turkey, Greece, we want to try and conquer them. I think bringing the Saudis on board. Nah, the British Raj, flipping them over is always nice to do. Okay, so let's try and hit Norway as quickly as possible and try and take them out. So we want basically these guys to hit what's this? Bergen. We'll get these guys to hit Oslo because Norway's a little bit sparse at the moment. So we want them to hit that. You come down here and help out Oslo. Just try and do as best you can really. Pick for points. Okay, I think there's an uh, Narvik. Mm, we want to try and hit here. There's an isn't there like a naval base, air base here somewhere? There must be in Norway. Anyway, we'll push down through into Denmark. We're kind of near Lillehammer at the moment. Oh, does that mean we have a spare research slot now? Yes, we do. Perfecto. The Italians want to send us some help. Come on. Quickly now, the co the the French commune are here, along with the Red Army. The Soviets are here. Oh, okay. We need to swing around and hit Oslo now. Absolutely hammer at home, guys. Oh, there's their airfield. There. Neutralize it. Uh, is there one in the north as well? We want to try and get that port quick, fast. I'll send you guys around the back here. They must be close to capitulating. What are they at? 32. I've been to Oslo in real life. Another awesome city. And Lillehammer. My, my uncle fucking loves Lillehammer in the north. Alright, let's push for Oslo. We've nearly got it. Just go for it. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, the Brits are here. Shit. Oh! The fall of Oslo. Huzzah! Oh, we've just done it. Holy shit. Did they join the Allies? Doesn't bother me. Whoa, okay, hang on. Let's pop at the entirety of the country, please. Let's end it there. Yeah, what was that? I think they might have just joined the Allies, but we just capitulated them. Holy crap. But regardless, we've taken Norway, and now what it's called? Norgesvelt. <laughs> Norgesvelt. <laughs> I have no idea. But now they have a red and uh, yellow flag. That's hilarious. We've got the Swedish one, and then we've got the swastika here with Denmark. Well, would you look at that, guys? Scandinavia is under Axis control, bar Finland, which we could go for, but like I said, they usually get war decked by the Soviets, and it's a nice buffer zone between the fascist and the communist ideology and uh, the Allies. So we've taken that now. 
Let me know in the comment section down below for the next episode where you would like me to expand. We could potentially push into Greece and Turkey, but maybe we're better off just holding up, waiting till 1940, go through Netherlands, Belgium, and, and help, out, help out Hitler. I will betray him in the end, so stay tuned for that. But nothing is set in stone. Let me know in the comments where you'd like me to boost other people's ideologies, flip over. Let me know if you want me to create my own Australian-Hungarian Empire faction betray Hitler in the end. Nothing is set in stone. Just let me know in the comment section down below your suggestions. If this video as well gets 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second uh, video for the, the Australian-Hungarian Empire. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is been cmc goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there